Hi, it's Duke at Duke's RV. And today we're gonna to take a look at this grand design. It's a 2023 model, the 341 RDS. It is a nice fifth wheel. It's a little windy out here today, so I'm gonna take a look at the inside first. So uh, thanks for tagging along, here we go. Okay, we just walked in the door right here. We're in the 341 RDS grand design reflection 2023 model so you see it's got a dinette there this table will slide back and forth that way and you have a booth on this side with storage underneath it and then your traditional uh, dinette chairs with a secret compartment right there so the nice thing about that if you want to put that up out of the way uh, I kind of like that because you can get around here a little bit easier so I think I would leave it like that sometimes all right, so here we go. Let's take a look at the kitchen. So you walk in, there is the big fridge there, and right to the right there, see I'm, the door is right here. You walk in the door, and you've got this uh, counter space here, the residential fixture. There's a plug up underneath there, so you could plug in your coffee potter, George Foreman grill, juicer, blender, whatever you got. And then you have the traditional stuff that goes in a kitchen, which one of the things is a fridge and an oven. I'll just take a peek in the oven there. It's actually a pretty decent size oven. And uh, the cooktop is nice also. Look at that. as a chef-friendly cooktop. You can put a your custom griddle right there in the middle. So you that'll fit a griddle. A couple of other pans on there. So let's take a look at this kitchen dinette area here. Your home office maybe from this angle. So you've got a huge window on the campsite. So if you're using this as a home office or just hanging out, having a cup of coffee, you could sit right here, look out the window, see the mountains or whatever's out there, just the woods, see the birds out there. And it does have a large pantry. I want to make sure I cover that because that is very important if you're doing some extended stay. Look at that. That is huge. So that's a residential. The residential theme continues with the uh, pantry. So let's take a look at the RD, the rear den section. It's got the theater seats here. The recliners, the captain's chairs. If you want to be in command, you are in charge And on each side, so there's these theater seats. Then on each side, there is a sofa that makes into a bed. And you could use this as a guest room. And there's your entertainment area with the fireplace TV. And there is a glass that comes down there. And there is a stereo. So they do have this little uh, catch right here that you can put out. So when you're driving... It doesn't come loose or doesn't come open. A little shelf space right there. That's nice. Let's, let's take a look at this shelf space up here. See those hidden residential hinges. Nice hardware. Grand Design does a lot of attention to detail, I would say. So they a good job on the fit and finish. These little grab handles here for the uh, blackout shade. So you notice there's no light coming in right there. This blackout shade has a valance that will uh, keep it dark in here in the morning. You don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn if you're sleeping in this area. Or if somebody's walking by at night at the campground, you have complete privacy just to feel more comfortable. All right, so let's head on in and take a look. Well, hey, look at that. There is a storage space there underneath that uh on each side of that sink and then there is some storage space down here also and some cubby space right there so these i'm gonna open these up sorry about the production here so you have a opening there and a couple of spaces there this space up here so when you got that full-size pantry and all these little nooks and cubby storage areas you've got plenty of places for your stuff to be comfortable but they even put a door right here that's your fuse panel breaker box and then there's a little uh, compartment right there 
so there is a heater duct going up the stairwell and there is a window right here in the hallway keeps it nice and bright in here even with the lights off You've got a well positioned toilet nice shower with the place to sit down you've got the skylight so they bathroom storage we can go ahead and check that box there is plenty of storage there for put your towels in there bathroom items and you have a nice medicine cabinet right here so all right let's take a look at the bedroom king size bed windows on both sides huge closet let's see if we could see that from right here this lighting is not great but it uh kind of wraps around and then you have a full-length mirror these doors slide over and you can get a uh, really good full length view this mirror here you could slide it over so depending on where you want to stand and check out all this uh, drawer space here got the TV backer location right there all right well I just wanted to give you a view of this floor plan so I'll just take a quick walk around the outside it's a little bit loud out there but uh, here is the RD the rear den so you have this table that slides that way back and forth and a combination of a booth and traditional dinette so you still have the storage underneath there you have the uh, sink here on the right the counter space large fridge chef friendly kitchen and the rd the rear den and then you got my contact information here i'm duke your video host appreciate you tagging along and if you have any questions just send me a text if you're interested in purchasing an rv i'll be happy to help you shop for it if this isn't the perfect rv let me know what's what uh what it is that you like what you need what kind of truck you have what you're going to use it for how many people and i will customize a video just for you hey thank you very much okay it's loud out here but i just want to let you get a look at the outside of this rig so we're gonna this that's the window in the uh, rear den section that's the window campsite window right there by the dinette got the stairwell that makes contact with the ground big awning the wine guard air 360 up on the roof and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the storage area right here the double welded aluminum construction, the vapor barrier, PEX plumbing. That's a shut off for your battery right there. There's lights in here. And then you have a heater duct. So the way this is tested is in this section right here, it, it zero degrees outside. This area will stay at 55 degrees is the way that they have uh, tested it. You get two of those 30 pound propane tanks. It's a fifth wheel. So there's your fifth wheel hitch or your kingpin it goes in your fifth wheel hitch let's check the weight this one has an unloaded vehicle weight of 10,906 pounds gross vehicle weight 13,995 so uh, it carries over two 2,000 pounds of cargo when you subtract the difference there here's your other uh, propane tank on this side so it'll carry stuff you might use this one might work with a three-quarter ton truck. We'll check the specs. Check your payload. There's your bay right there with all your hot and cold shower, all your uh, water connections, tank flush. There's the levers for your black and gray tanks. And then this is the other side of the storage. This one does have a uh, hot water on demand, tankless water heater. Again, thanks for tagging along. I'm Duke here in the Houston, Texas area, and if you are in the market for an RV, I'd be delighted to uh, help you. There's a ladder there, walkable roof. Okay, so my phone number's down in the description below. I listed it earlier in the video. If you watched all the way through, please do give me a thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Thank you so much.